Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry guys for not posting for a while now. I'm so sorry. It is due to my new apartment that I just got and it is currently going through renovation. I've not fully settled down yet, but once I fully settle down, I'll be uploading frequently like I used to. But I promise to be uploading at least once or twice a week for now. If you are seeing me for the first time, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Oti. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. I create content on sewing tutorials and crafts. If you are a returning sub, thank you so, so much for sticking around. I really appreciate you all. In today's tutorial, I will be showing us on how to draft and sew a bishop collar. It is very easy to make. So without further ado, let's move right to the tutorial. I've already drafted my basic bodies. I folded my fabric into two. This is for the back and this is for the front. Our focus is going to be on the neckline, which is the main purpose of today's tutorial. So I'll be making use of neck width of three and a half inches. Neck depth for the back, I'll be making use of half inch. Neck depth for the front, I'll be making use of three inches. This is the back neckline. Then this is the front neckline. From this one inch shoulder slope, I'm going to connect my shoulder slope. From this one inch, I'll connect to the neckline for my shoulder slope. Half inch seam allowance at the shoulder. Next thing to do is to cut it out. Then I'll remove the back bodies and continue with the front bodies. I'll cut the front arm up. I'm going to be slitting the front. So I'm going to first of all measure half an inch. Then for the depth of the slit i'm going to measure four and a half inches so from the half inch i'm going to slant it tiny to meet the depth of four and a half inches then i'll cut it out this is how it looks I measured half an inch and I measured the depth of four and a half inches. So from the half an inch, I slant it to meet the depth of four and a half inches. So I'm going to cut it out this way. For the first thing, you will need a small piece like this. You place it underneath the fabric. 
make sure that the folded edge of the bodies align with the folded edge of the facing. Then you cut it out. I've iron este on it so the next thing I'm going to do this is the right side of the fabric I'm going to place the facing on it this way then I will take to my sewing machine I'm going to sew half inch straight down so the next thing to do I'm going to notch it close to the seam After that, I'm going to flip it over to the wrong side, this way, then I'll give it a good press. I've given it a good press. As you can see, it is nice and flat. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll take the back bodies. I'm going to join the front and the back bodies together at the shoulder width half an inch seam allowance that I added to it. So I'm going to join it with half an inch. Then after that, I'll measure the neckline and draft my collar. I've joined the front and the back together with half an inch. So the next thing to do is to measure the neckline. You will fold the neckline into two this way. Camping the shoulders together so that it won't be moving around. This part is very important. You measure your neckline. I have nine inches. My neckline is nine inches. You measure the nine inches. Whatever your neckline is, you measure it at this starting line. Then the midpoint of 9 inches is 4.5. Then I'm going to measure 1 and a half inches upward. Then I'll connect it into a straight line. I'll measure half inch upward. From this half an inch, I'm going to connect it to this midpoint with a curve. I want the height of my collar to be one inch. You can make yours to be one and quarter or even one and a half. It depends on your preference. So I'm going to measure one inch. I'll measure one inch. One inch. 
I'll continue to measure one inch from this curved line. One inch. Then one inch. I'm going to join the dotted lines together. Then I'll move over to this edge. I'm going to measure half an inch. From this half an inch, I'll give it a curve to meet this point. From the half an inch, I'll curve it neatly to meet this point. This is how to draft our color. As you can see, it is very easy to draft. So the next thing to do is to cut it out. lower part will be sewn to the neckline so the part that will be sewn to the neckline we are going to notch it a little so the next thing this is how it looks like as you can see it is very easy to make this is a long strip as you can see so I first of all fold it into two then I'll be folding it over again making it into four then i'll place my color stay on it this is the folded edge after that so the next thing to do i'm going to cut it out and add half an inch seam allowance if you can't eyeball it make sure that you mark your half an inch seam allowance how it looks like I have two pieces so the next thing I will do I'm going to iron interfacing on one side then after that I will show us the next step to take right side facing each other I'm going to place the color on each other this way after that I'm going to take to my sewing machine I'm going to sew half an inch close to the collar I'm going to sew it round after that I'm going to notch it then I will turn it to the right side I'll do that quickly and show us the next step to take after turning it to the right side I'm going to give it a good press then I'm going to fold in one side I'll fold in half an inch this way and I'll give it a good price. Then after that, I'll sew it to my neckline. I've given it a good price, as you can see. So I'll first of all check if the collar is going to fit in to the neckline properly. Let's do this together.
as you can see it fits in to the neckline properly so the next thing to do i'm going to pin it round and sew it to my neckline i've sewn the collar round to the neckline so the next thing to do is to cover it up this way then i will sew it round the neckline This is the final outcome of today's tutorial. As you can see, it is very easy to make. We've come to an end of today's tutorial. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so. I upload weekly tutorial on my channel. Also remember to click on the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified until I come your way next. Please stay safe and remain blessed. Bye.